hi guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while so today's video is a bronzy look and all glowy but first of all it was a matte look so i'm going to be showing you guys how i changed her from matte to glossy so this is a really quick video and if you want to know how i achieve this look please keep on watching okay so the first thing i did was to do her brows i did it off camera because she was getting ready for her photo shoot in fact there was really no time to even film this look and i think what i did was after the reels the first reel the before reels i i decided to just leave my lights on and then i put it my phone on the tripod and i started filming it was a very quick one because she was in a rush like she was in a rush because she needed to meet up with her photographer and she didn't want to be late so i just decided to just do a quick one for you guys so i've already done her brows off camera i've done her skin prep off camera as well and i started off with foundation so the, for the foundation i mixed huda beauty in chocolate mousse and my black opal stick foundation in hazelnut so these two combination were her exact color especially her face and her her chest because those are the places that are more like exposed and if you notice her neck is a bit darker but i was able to fix that when um, i did her contour so i needed to do what i'm seeing on the more exposed area on her face and her face had the same um, complexion as her body so that's why i chose this um foundation and the two combined together gave her a perfect match so you guys already know that this beauty blender from Y glam cosmetics is my favorite and for the application of the foundation i first of all used this um, flat brush from younger beauty before blending out with the um, beauty blender or beauty sponge okay so i tried as much as possible to blend in that foundation well because you guys already know my rule if the foundation ends sitting well nothing else is going to sit well so when you're building a house the foundation has to be strong before you put the house on top right so that works for skin work as well foundation blended in properly before any other thing comes on top so let's continue i took my time to really blend out the foundation because we we were practically just in and you know i think i filmed more on the foundation blending which is not a bad idea at least you guys could see how much distribution i did i made sure that everything was sitting perfectly fine and if you notice i was avoiding the baby hair that was done by Lee Signature because Lee Signature did her hair. So I was trying not to put foundation on the baby hair area. So if you're a makeup artist and you're also working with a hairstylist, you should try as much as possible not to spoil their own work while doing yours. So it's more like a teamwork. You have to understand boundaries when it comes to makeup application. And hair too so that's basically it so after this foundation I went ahead to put blush on her face I know you guys are used to seeing me doing contour first but I used blush first on her face so for the blush I use my Dabelle cosmetics liquid lipstick is a palette lipstick they gave it to me sometime in April and I haven't used it before so I wanted to show you guys and this is my first time of using it so this color is more like an orangey red kind of because of the warm tone is going to be giving her guys bronzy has to do with warm it doesn't have anything to do with pale skin and because she is um, 
on the brown skin caramel you know um, I don't know how to put it well that is the reason why because this color just suits her skin tone and it's so beautiful so it's going to just warm up her face a little bit I still contoured but I just did a little bit of it very little contour so I'm just going to put this blush on those places that I want to look a little bit bronzed don't get me wrong I'm still going to bronze her face but I'm just trying to you know pop those areas that I need that needs bronzing and trust me after the whole makeup you're really going to see the outcome of it So taking my time to blend because you know that if you don't blend the next thing that is coming on top is not definitely not going to sit right okay so for the contour I use my stick foundation in carob this is still the same black opal if you noticed I just put a little bit of that contour color just below the blush just exactly on the colors of her cheekbones so did on a little bit on her forehead above the blush or rather above the lipstick I put there and then on the sides of her nose so you have to just do this on the bridges of the nose and just little bit of it just to show a little bit of shadow and I went ahead to blend down because you're going to blend and also blend it a little bit into the blush guys sorry i wasn't pulling her head i was only trying to bring her head down so you guys can really see what i'm doing and trust me i was working under pressure here because i needed to keep time um I'm, I'm, I'm so big on time management because if i give you time you have to come at the exact time and the photographer also gave her time so we are also trying to work on her own time and being that she had other things to also do before getting to the photographer so i was really 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 in a hurry so in case this video is not as detailed as you guys expected i'm sorry i'm not she's not a model she's just a client so <laughs> i have to just be fast okay so if you notice around the perimeters of her face i extended the contour because those places are not meant to be bright those places are meant to look bronzed so every bronzing and warming has to be on the perimeters of the face so taking my time to blend that in too because you don't want to leave any everything flying out there so that's it so you see that you can't really differentiate the blush and the contour everything is blended and make sure that the line in between the two are properly diffused into each other okay so for highlights i used um, two shades of concealer i used only kevin aquine i wanted to add another product but no i felt like i don't want to do too much so this is kevin aquine in number 12 and i used it on the outer corner and then for the inner part of her eyes i used number 11 just to add a little bit of brightness and trust me guys this concealer is very 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 pigmented little very little goes a long way and if you put too much trust me blending is definitely going to be hard you can see that i'm just tapping a little bit of it i mean a little bit goes a long way so try as much as possible to add as little as possible because this is really thick I mean, one thing I love about it that is acceptable with other concealers like LA Girl, Huda Beauty, NAS, Tarte, and Too Faced, Born This Way. You know, you can use it even with Nuban Beauty Nigerian brands. Why I love it is that it's very creamy, so you can actually add a little bit of mattifying concealer in and mix it up, and you're still going to get a perfect, you know, perfect mix or blend kind of. So you can see how fast 
the blending is going just a little bit of tap just gives you the perfect look so this concealer is a must have for me i don't think i can do without it because why i love it is also that it prevents creasing when you set well i mean even if your client cries it's not going to ruin under her eyes trust me guys so when i want to use it for someone that tears a lot i prefer to not mix it with any product so this is a tip for this concealer i don't like to mix it with any product if the person is teary because it's very creamy and it has a little bit of oil base so water and oil doesn't go together right so what i mean is that if the person is teary it's not going to crack so i feel that before you get to mix it up with another product you should find out from your client or your model whether she tears or not because i've actually mixed it with a product sometime on a bride and the bride teared and it opened up my god it was i was devastated that was the that's the word to use i was really devastated and i was able to fix it at the same time but it's better to be careful first before i never knew that it was going to break though and funny enough i mixed it with that i was like how can i use this two two awesome products and it's cracking i've never experienced it with this concealer but then i've noticed that if you're using it on someone that is teary just go ahead and use it without without any product okay so after doing all the blend you can see how neatly blended it is guys my light setup is horrible today like very like i can't even understand but trust me when i was done with the makeup i had to take my time to set the lighting which helped me to be able to do the video so before i go ahead to set guys remember to tell your client to keep looking up don't look down till i tell you to look down it's more like a motto for me i always say it to them and most of my old clients they already know once they are looking up they don't look down again because i always tell them don't look down till i'm done with setting reason is because once they look down it will create a line and you don't want to put your setting powder on that line because it's going to keep it permanent it's going to leave an open line and you don't want that okay so one thing about makeup once it breaks and um, water touches that place that has broken it tends to even open more so you see this video is not bad after all it's filled with a lot of tips <laughs> okay so this mirror powder was what i used i can't really i can't re really remember the name but i'm going to leave it in the description box i use mirror powder to set the concealer so for her overall face i use my my vicabel powder brush to apply these two powders the bell and milani I think the Milani was in medium and then the Dabelle from her shade from the Dabelle um, palette. I love Milani texture because it feels like a loose powder and little goes a long way. I think that was actually why I mixed it with Dabelle. So guys, this look, I love to do a matte finish on a client or rather let me say a matte look on the face which i know that if i want it to be glove look glossy or um there's another word for it oh my god makeup artist there's another word for it i can actually make it look soft at the same time so don't be scared that her face looks all matty i can always put it in that subtle way too so it's simple and i'm going to tell you guys how i did it so the next thing i did was to set under her eyes again to do a little bit of baking kind of I, I don't know if i should call it baking but this is la Mercia in honey this is my favorite shade in all certain powders i don't know i even prefer it to the light one to the translucent <laughs> this honey is a game changer for 
caramel skin tone guys I don't like because for me when I'm using concealers when I'm using setting powders I have different shades for different skin tone I don't use white on someone that is barely fair I use what suits your complexion that way you're not going to look white I hate to see makeup looking white under the eyes especially on people with caramel to brown skin so I love to use this and others so if you can't afford um laura mercier you can as well use um, mera cosmetics northern beauty or younger beauty those are my three favorite nigerian brands when it comes to setting powder okay so i went ahead to you know set her brows with my dabel powder and i also primed her eyes using my uh, my base eyeshadow base from p louise and p louise n05 so guys i'm trying to blend in that powder making sure that there are no harsh lines anywhere i always love a matte a matte skin finish then i can now implement the you know the glossy parts the bronzy part and all that so so for blush i use this old blush i had i've had for a long time this blush was gifted to me by my friend Uprina, and this is my um i don't know what product is that again i remember how come i'm forgetting again okay i'll still leave it it's such a sorry such a such a blush it's orange in color i really love how soft it is because i really don't didn't want her to look too colorful on her face so i chose to use a lighter blush because i'm still going to go ahead and bronze her face and you don't want to use too much color on the face when blushing so this is p louise on the eyelid p louise base in 05 oh god i feel like i'm talking too much and the video is so fast faster than the voiceover but that's fine i hope you guys can rewatch if you don't understand or please just ask question in the um, below and i'm going to reply all your questions so i'm using that same <laughs> brush i used in placing the foundation to blend in the p louise and um, there's something about this P. Louise primer that I like base per se. Let me say base. P. Louise base is because it has this concealer consistency. Like it feels like you're using concealer. It doesn't feel like you're using an eyeshadow base. And I love how light it is. So for eyeshadow, I went in with this um, burgundy. Will I, should I really call it burgundy? It has a little bit of brown and purple and red all together in one so this palette is my favorite you guys know that this is the almighty blossom african queen palettes yeah i needed to do a formal introduction again so this i'm using my vika bell brushes and it's it's my favorite now so i'm blending out the burgundy brown purple i don't know what to call it but it's all three colors in one okay so i i used it as my depth and i also used it as my transition so what i did was to apply on the outer v i make sure it's sitting properly and then i directed the outer part of it into the crease so if you notice that the outer part outer v looks a, a bit darker than the um, transition so the transition is what I took my time to blend more so whatever that was left on my brush was what I blended in the crease and I made sure I continued blending till it diffused into the crease I hate to see that line guys you see that line that is showing there I don't like it so you have to keep blending if possible you can as well just use another blending brush because you definitely can just use only one eyeshadow brush to blend i know i do it sometimes but the only way you can actually do that is if you keep wiping your brush on the tissue paper before going in to blend and that will solve it if you really don't want to waste brushes on just one person 
okay so the next thing i did was to apply mix this orange color and this um, brownish nude color together to blend out the line because trust me no matter how you feel that your trans that transition is looking nice in my own eyes it's not so i needed to still take my time to use another blending brush to blend that part because you don't want to still introduce the dark color from the old brush so it's preferably to use another blending brush so you see how i'm just you know blending diffusing that line because i really want it to look smooth and not looking harsh trust me this helps your eyeshadow application once there's a line on that place that's the beginning of a tacky work so i hope you guys are getting what i'm saying because i'm trying as much as possible to explain in a way that you understand so the next thing is this bronzy color it's kind of red it has a red gold i don't know but from this palette I mean this palette is awesome I love it because I think this particular eyeshadow now that I'm applying I've done something like this on this channel before I'm going to link it up there in case you haven't watched it but it's going to be my base for the um, glitters I'm going to be using so trust me I'm not trying to create the same look I'm trying to use the same eyeshadow to you know make a base for the next thing i'm going to use so after that bronzy i went in with the yellow gold not really yellow it's it's kind of a dull gold um how do i put it there's this dull yellow color i don't know what they call it again but that's what the eyeshadow looks like from that palette so i'm just using it on the tear dots and blended it into the lid just to diffuse into the first bronzy color I used so I'm going to use my blending brush guys to blend in that darker color into that bronze you don't want to leave lines again remember everything has to be blended into each other see no harsh lines so that when when you put your pigments or your glitters you won't have a demarcation it will have a very neat finish clean finish kind of so you see i'm taking my time to diffuse that into the eyeshadow in as much as you are putting pigments on top and glitters is not the reason why you should your base should look untidy because when your base is properly blended whatever comes on top will always you know look really nice okay so for glitters so i've learned a new way of doing my glitters you know you guys already know i like to use pigments um, um what's it called nyx or elf glitter primer and all but for a more long lasting glitters on the eyes you can choose your desired glitters mix it up with maybe a benai glitter glue make sure the benai is not so much is not more than the glitters it appears chunky when you mix it just use a flat brush and pat it on the eyeshadow that's exactly what i did here i was in a hurry i would have shown you how how i mixed it but trust me in another look i'll definitely show you so that you see that one is not more than one okay so these glitters i used i use luster cosmetics they are both luster cosmetics but one of them i don't know the name the other one is gold but i'll find out because one of them the first one i used was given to me by my friend so i don't even know the name so i'll find out then i'll leave it in the description box i mix the two of them and it gave me this beautiful sparkly eyes so after placing the glitters you just have to blend out under the eyes you know for any fallout Look at 
Okay, so using the same pillow is, I'm just going to apply it on the lower lash line. So yeah, you can just go in with eyeshadow like that if you want, but because I really want her lower eyes to look bronzy too, I had to use the pigments, sorry, the um, P. Louise base on that area so that once I place the eyeshadow, I won't have much fallout. This is also an easy way to place your eyeshadow. Just use a tiny pencil brush. This brush, I've had it for like almost, I've had it since 2015. So this brush is from one of the Inglot brushes I have. I just placed it there. You can see that with the um, glitter, so I keep saying glitter primer, gosh. Okay, with the primer or the base, let me say the base because it's actually a base. I, it's very easy and you have less fallout under the eyes. So in case you're having difficulty in placing eyeshadows below the eyes, Trust me, this is the best way to do it. Just put a base, a little base, just tap a little base there and then place the eyeshadow. Once you place it, you can go ahead and blend back and forth because you don't want it clustered. Remember, blending solves a lot of things. If your work has to be neat, you have to have some, so much patience in blending. And once you're used to blending, even if you're working under duress, you're definitely going to get a very neat job because already blending has become your cardio, right? They say that blending should be your cardio. So if you are used to it, you're going to you're going to have a neat work even when you're working under pressure. So I've already lined the other eye, and I want to show you guys how I did this one. I really don't have straight hands so I have to hold down her eyes to just follow up and trust me it works for me I feel it even works better than when I don't hold it down so this is the best way if you want to get accurate lining so using my ink gloss and my Vika Bell brush. But this brush is just everything. So all your eye sets buy from Vika Bell. I'm not advertising because they asked me to. No, I'm advertising because I love all their brushes, especially their eyeshadow sets. So if you just want to have a complete eye set, just buy Vika Bell. Ah, she's really loving the liner because hmm, she loves when her eyes, her liner is looking all catty, you know. So I gave her exactly what she wanted. So for mascara, I'm using the Zara mascara. I'm taking my time to do that because one thing it does is that it's going to eliminate every fallout from the eyeshadow that are leaving inside the lashes. So I take my time to do that, to take out and also strengthen out. And trust me, don't try to leave clusters of mascara on the lashes. If you feel that is all clustered, you can use a wand that has nothing on it to just, you know, blend it out. Okay, so I hate to see eyeshadows below the lashes. Trust me, once you put artificial lashes, you won't like the outcome. So it's always good to make sure that you don't have any fallout on the lashes. That way your eyes will be popping. Your eye work will be popping. That's what I mean. So this lash is from Vuan Beauties. I actually love how light their lashes are. I love that they come in different sizes and different styles for different eye shapes. And funny thing is that they are not numbered yet. So I can't really say the particular one I used. It doesn't have a name, it doesn't have a number. So I just choose from pictures and pay for it and they send it over, okay? 
so i would have said oh this is slash uh, number this or call a name but there's nothing on it so bear with us so carefully placing the lashes on her lash line and using my tweezers So guys, I wanted to say that I really love a matte look first because of our Nigerian weather. It kind of keeps the makeup, like if I want the makeup to last longer, I first of all do a matte look, then I can do a dewy finish at the end of the day. So dewy finish will come later and it's very easy to achieve that by using um, TM Essential Glow, that they are glow palettes, kind of um, cheek glaze, right? Yes, the, the ones with um, shimmer, that works, that does the job. That does the job. So that was exactly what I used on her after bronzing because I love to bronze. And when you bronze, it's kind of, it's a, it, it kind of accepts um shimmer or something wet kind of you can even use body glow just put it on your beauty blender and tap it on those areas that you want to see or feel the glow trust me the makeup will just turn to <laughs> to do we you know so this is me bronzing i've already done the first glow up on her which i use my younger beauty in bokish i couldn't film this bad because i i kind of stopped the video at some point to do one or two so you can see that i'm working together with the hairstylist this is lee signature working on her hair and because we don't have time on our sides we had to work together so guys also try to learn how to work with an artist or whoever just to make work easier and faster so for her brows i'm using this um hair wax is my best guys i prefer it to any brow tamer this hair wax holds your brows down till eternity so i'm just using my wand to just straighten out the hairs making sure the hairs are in place I didn't want to use a tint on her brows because I wanted her brows to match with her hair so that's why I didn't use a tint at all so for the highlighter I used first I only used the powder highlighter which I still went ahead to use the wet one from from Noban Beauty uh, no sorry not Noban Beauty TM Essentials so TM Essentials and Bomb was what I used to achieve the overall glow guys my lighting really messed up with me here honestly because this look was yummy i mean have you have you ever done makeup on someone and as you're doing the makeup you are screaming and praising yourself that was me in this makeup look i was just i was like oh god i can't be faced oh my god <laughs> it was funny but you know if you're good just praise yourself you know it helps it helps if you do something nice tell yourself oh my god you're good it helps with your cause it helps to boost your confidence you know you feel cool and whatever like it just helps your day too. it makes your day it makes you happy the whole day like i really did a good job and trust me guys i did a good job <laughs> okay let's go and i went ahead to put lower lashes okay this lower lashes part she didn't ask for it but i felt like it was going to make the look even more bomb i'm really not a fan of lower lashes because sometimes the ones i used to see sometimes used to look like termites are climbing out of the person's eyes <laughs> but okay uh, if you have to do it, make it look natural, okay? I just use like four strands from the wink lashes I have. I've had it for so long and to be honest, I didn't know what to do with it. But I felt like today, okay, I think this look will be more, um, you know, girly, sharp. I don't know the word to use, like, you know, Beyonce vibe kind of look. So I decided to go on with the lower lashes. 
and trust me i have difficulties in fixing this thing but you see on this day i didn't know that i could actually walk under hey god it felt like they put a gun on my head guys i did these lashes like in minutes in a minute or two like it was really quick i was surprised and i was happy with myself you know you know some things you're scared of you just have to keep trying and it worked it worked it really did can't you see the look it looks it's so upgraded it's so you know <laughs> okay for the lips i went ahead to use this brown lippy lip stain from noban beauty I've used it before, but one thing about products is that most times I don't remember their names, but definitely it will be in the description box. So I'm just going to line the borders of her lip with that lipstick. Um, she has she has tiny lips, kind of. So I wanted to make it appear bigger. So if you notice, I I apply that above the border of her lips and also below the border of her lower lips this actually made her lips appear bigger so for the lip stain i'm using this pink lip stain is in um Camsis collection i think it's Camsis collection yeah in nude pink i really love this because it's giving nude vibes and also giving a feminine pink vibes too so I'll just go ahead and use my Wicker Bell brush to blend that into each other. Trust me, leaving lines on the leaves is a no-no for me. You know, the same way you blend your eyeshadow, do that with the leaves too. Make sure that every line blends it into each other, okay? So I'm still going to blend in the lines. So I'm going to use my eye magic palette to do that so first of all i just applied the light nude in the center because i really didn't want her lips to appear pinky and guys the secret to using eye magic palette is to use a matte below before you use um the eye magic because once you use the matte as your base when eye magic comes on top of it it becomes matte too so, I know it's tricky but that is what it is it becomes matte and it's not going to move because eye magic is not a matte lippy so it definitely moves especially when you put gloves on it so the best way to keep it on the lips is to use a matte as your base so I still went out with eye magic brown because obviously I'm not just going to use that Northern Beauty there so the eye magic brown is a bit lighter than the noban beauty so it's going to just diffuse the noban beauty and reduce the the thickness kind of so um i'm going to use brown now on the borders again from the eye magic and i'm going to blend it into the nude pink and the nude from the eye magic so you see everything now looks so blended and it looks like i just used two two shades that's how that's how you take your time to do the lippy okay dokey so for the gloss i use elsa's pro and uh, oh, okay i'll write that i'll write that in the come in the description box guys i'm so sorry so you can see how clean this makeup looks oh i'm loving the lower lashes thank god i did use it you know sometimes when you're working you think too and if you're intentional you see your mistakes and you're able to correct it and you also see that oh there's need for this other thing to be added that's how makeup is or anything you're doing at all i feel that when you are when you are when you put your whole mind in it trust me you're going to you know do the best so this is my tm essentials and bomb um it's kind of darker than the previous glow i used so i'm using it beneath the glow i used earlier because i don't want it to come out too dark because this is what i use on more like very dark people in some of my videos you guys must have seen me use it so 
I'm going to just use it just right above the first highlighter I used before, which is the Orkish from um, Y Glam Cosmetics. Was it Y Glam? Sorry, Younger Beauty, Younger Beauty, Younger Beauty, Younger Beauty. Yeah, so. So I also use TM Essential Body Glow. I think it's Body Glaze. I don't know what it's called, but the one in the round cream container is in a container. So um, I applied it with my hand. I felt it, it was too much, so I had to use my beauty blender to spread it out. This will even give it a more skin-like finish. So guys, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed my talk talk. I really hope you enjoyed everything I said here. Of course, I had to make it a little bit fun. I don't have to be rigid in my videos. So are we not friends here? We are. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't just be a watcher. Please subscribe to my channel. Please, please and watch all my other videos. I'll be dropping more soon. And if it's your first time, welcome to my channel so we had to do the reels in the first slide the second one was just the video so you can see that i later had to set my lights in a better way and this look was bomb thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye bye